Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today we'll be, we will be continuing our journey, but this time we have Caleb. Yep, what's up? <laughs> so, we'll continue at the Dueling Peaks Tower. Yay! Caleb will entertain you guys. <laughs> yeah, I am at, currently at Rito Village. Should I be spoiling? <laughs> uh, no, don't spoil. <laughs> oh, dang, okay. Are you gonna start your playthrough? Yes. Um, uh, my capture card is coming in the mail soon, so... Yeah. Yay, I'm on the tower. Okay. Let's go down. Woo! Uh-oh, I'm dead. <gasps> I forgot I had the paraglider, but I remembered. Good. You die? Almost, but I... Last second, remembered I have it. <laughs> Yay! So fun. We're going to Kakariko Village to meet Impa. Yay. But first, I want to catch a horse. That's my goal. I'm going to turn off this stupid Sheikah sensor. I hate that thing. Yeah, it gets really annoying. Okay, it's off. Dude, where is the Slippery Falcon? I have no- I think it's a restaurant in Rito Village. Well, I'm trying to find it! It's one of those building things, those hut things. <laughs> is it? Well, I don't know. I, I think can't it's, find it. I think it's where they sell food. I don't know. I'm gonna get a whistle sprint, because I'm a hacker. Woo! We are almost to Nakluda. Uh, this game is very beautiful. So many great places. I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying this. Hopefully this video will be under 45 minutes again. Because uh, if it goes longer than that, it's boring. Money num. I don't know what that was. That's Caleb. <laughs> Thanks for <ruining> my <laughs> Yo, go. <gasps> it's go Beetle. Videos. Guys, don't watch Cruise videos. Watch my videos, because my videos are better. You don't have any videos, bud. <laughs> well, I'm going to. It's Beetle. Okay. Yes. It's time to sell him our Beetle. <laughs> that I caught in the Great Plateau. You know how there's a leader Name's of every Beetle. race? But you can call me. Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my Beetle shaped backpack. Wow. Hey, dude, that's so weird. Despite Stop. these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock oh, many yeah. special bugs and must have yep. items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price. Okay, or my name's not Beetle. Working. I'm going to eat you. I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones, in particular, fetch a high price. How can I help you today? Um, um look what I've got. Oh. What would you like to sell? Beetle. It's a be Wait, it only sells for four rupees? Beetle is so weird. Oh my gosh, dude. This guy. Okay, you know the two weird- three weirdest NPCs? Try to Beetle, name them. Beetle is a good one, but Beetle- oh, Weirdest! Be weirdest. Be Beetle, Bolson, and... Uh... One more. One more weird person in this game. Beetle, Bolson. Okay. Oh! Oh, that lady! The lady that like loves guardians. That one. Okay. Yeah. Here's, my, here's my three weirdest NPCs. Okay. The guy that has the guy that comes out at night. Killin, he's the best. Killin, he's weird. He's the Beetle's best. Weird. And then the person who does dies. Oh yeah, him. Yeah, he's weird. <laughs> That's a her. It's kind of hard to tell. It's a him. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. It is. It's a her. It's a him that does the dies in Hateno. It's a he. 
Yeah. Let's go catch a horse, guys. Oh, dueling peak stable. Let's go. I'm gonna go catch a horse after I get this wood. Yay. Oh, torch. Can't carry it. Okay. Apples. <laughs> I disagree. Uh, the guy at this table said we could take those apples if we want them. What's the most expensive armor, okay. crew? In my best playthrough? Huh? Like, the most expensive? Like... In the game. Probably... Dark Link armor. From Kilton. Even though you don't pay with rupees, but, yeah. Probably that. Let's see, where are the horses at? Oh, there they are. We're going to catch a horse. George the goat over there. Vibin'. <laughs> Dude, where is Cree? No idea. Oh, are you doing the singing sisters quest or whatever? Yeah. Oh, I did that one for a shrine. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's a shrine quest. Okay, where is Cree? One is catching salmon down at the entrance of the town. Yeah, I did. I did do that. Um, I don't know. There's, they're everywhere. <gasps> There's, oh, I want that brown horse over there. That's the one. We're gonna sneak up on them. Gotta be very quiet, guys. ASMR. I'm always skilled now, ready. Be quiet, bud. We're sneaking up on horses. Okay, okay crew, don't do that. Here we go. Crew. Look at that one. That one's the best. Crew. Is it blue? Oh, it's blue. I love the blue. Dude, I'm talking to the fat leader of the Rito Village. He looks like a straight up owl, dude. We're going very slow. We're gonna catch this blue one. Okay. Did that horse just fart? <laughs> it sounded like that. Dude, where's Cree? We can catch this black one. No, I'm going for the blue one. Why are they running away? Oh, there's monsters over here? Oh, God. Wait. Okay. To ban the weed? Okay. Then. No, no! I failed. I failed. Yo, yeah, what's new? We're back at it again. Here we go. We're gonna catch it. We're gonna catch the horse. Oh, okay, very slow. Very slow. Very slow. My gosh, crew. And we got it. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Oh wait, we don't have any stamina. I forgot. You have to have. Oh my God! It barely. We won't Okay, we have to come up with the best name for this horse. The stable's right here. Slippery yeah. Falcon, where the frick is that? <laughs> we gotta tame this horse. Restaurant. Calm down, buddy. Dude, we got like a midnight and white one. Like it's like midnight blue and like white mixed. It's We're in Rito Village. Well, you're pretty peppy today, stranger. Hey. Welcome to my stable. We do on all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Huh. I've seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? Yes, I do. Oh, pardon me. Let me start over. Hi. Welcome to our stable. If you've come with a wild horse, you can register it with us here. Or, if you want to stay for a rest, please head to the counter inside. So what will it be? Register a horse. Gotcha. You sure this is the one? Yep. Not a problem. We charge a registration fee for help support to help support our conversation efforts. The fee also gets you a locally made saddle and bridle for your horse. The fee is 20 rupees. Is that okay? Yes. Whoa. Thanks. Please enter a name for your horse. Okay, this is the difficult part. That's a good name. 
Eichner. <gasps> Baby Weichner. Um, he's Midnight. <gasps> Midnight. <gasps> Midnight. That's a good name. I'm going with Midnight. 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 <gasps> Moon Knight. No, I'm not copying that. <laughs> no, you should. Moon Knight. Okay. 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 I'll promise. If they if they watch me, then I'll name my first black horse Moon Knight. Actually, no. Shouldn't it be white? Okay, next white horse. If I find one. Oh, I'm um, doing mine midnight because it's like a midnight horse. blue. Tell the horse, dude. <laughs> midnight is what I'm calling it. Midnight. That's a good name, I think. I think that's pretty good. Warwick is the slippery Ooh. falcon. I don't know. It's one of just go around. It's the place where they sell food. Look on the map. It, it should appear as like a food. Are they sell food? Yeah, like butter and no. stuff. <gasps> oh wait, no! I know where that is. It's um, it's a little, it's a little bird by one of those stoves, like cooking something. It's in one of those houses. Just look around. Oh, I know. No, that's the girl that I'm. Tr I'm trying to find Cree. Yeah, she's she's in there. Look for. A little no, bird. No, no, she's by the pot, right? She's by the yeah, pot. Yeah, she's by the pot. That's not free. Yeah. That's not free. Oh, well then, the place where they sell food. <laughs> Her name is Janelli. Huh. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? Yes, I oh. would. Thank you. We'll yeah, see you that's next time. Mm. Food. There's no one here. Oh, and by the way. If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it'll come running. Got it. <laughs> but your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away. So do keep no, that in get mind. The DLC! <laughs> Wait, you got the DLC? Yeah? No. You should. <laughs> to Kakariko Village we go! There's Hi. no one named Cree though. Oh, is there? Come on, Midnight. <laughs> Midnight? Midnight? Come on, come on, midnight. Oh, it's getting sunny. Oh, nice. We want to get a perfect relationship with this horse. Here, come on, come on, midnight. I want to get the good armor for this horse, the uh, royal armor or whatever. Not the royal armor, the uh, extravagant armor. That's a good. Good, good horse. Good horse. Wheat, wheat. We are 15 minutes into the episode, almost. Hestu, the tree man, speaks from the court. Hestu is a boy! Hestu is not a boy. Have you played Age of Calamity? No. Okay. He's a boy. He talks in Age of Calamity. Shakalaka! Shalalaka! I don't know how he said it. Shalaka? You? You can see me? I can see you. Shalaza! Shalaka! It's been 100 years since anyone has been able to see me! I'm Hestu, and I need your help! Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas! I think they're still there! On the other side of those rocks! <clears throat> I can't use my powers without them! Shoko! So please! Please get my rockers back from them. Do you like my Hestu? No. I think it was pretty accurate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. You sound very much like a girl, and you're saying it's a boy. Yeah, he has a high pitched voice in Age of Calamity, but he is definitely a boy. You know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm pretty sure he's a boy. What's up with you thinking everyone's a girl? <laughs> Dude, because they are. Not that, uh, not, um, 
the die guy. I uh, got got my ginger ale for the podcast. <laughs> Let's just headshot these guys. Oh wait, that's the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> They're throwing rocks at me. Woo! Don't die. Oh, I got him good. Got him. I gotta hit him off the cliff. That's what we gotta do. I died. I said I would never die again. Now I have to kill Zelda. I have to kill Zelda next time I see her. Which is not gonna happen in a while. I might forget. Dang, I have to kill Zelda now? Sucks. Unless I get another heart. Then I'll be fine. Because then I'll have four hearts and four deaths. Perfect. Wait, have you... Wait, what's the recipe? For what? For the three girl shrine quest. I don't know. I haven't done that quest in ages. Okay, this is so ticking. Doesn't it tell you? Does go find her eldest sister, Knots. Second eldest sister, Knots. Third eldest sister, Genly, and fourth eldest sister, So I think I need to find one more. Flurry rush, let's go. Woo! 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 Two done. One more. Oh, I'm gonna knock him off the cliff. You're mine. Or not. Oh, he did go off the cliff. Yay! Bye bye. Bye bye, Boko Goblin. <laughs> Why do you call it that? Boko Goblin. <laughs> Why? I'm making weird sounds again. Dude, show, show the viewers how to do a sledge slide or whatever. Everyone knows how to do that. Shield surf? Yeah. Hester's Maracas! Woo! We got him. Let's go. I know exactly where you are on the map. Yeah. I think. I You're think. in that little cliff that's covered by rocks. Um, yeah. By Cockery Gum. Yeah. Yep. Here's Hestu. Let's go. I'll, I'll shield surf down to Hestu. Okay. I'll do it on my pot lid. It'll probably break immediately. <laughs> Woo! Go Grease Lightning and burn up a quarter mile. Grease Lightning, go Grease Lightning. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Shabakala! Those are! Those are my maracas! Please give them to me! Those are my maracas! That's what he sounds like, I'm telling you. Watch watch the cutscenes from Age of Calamity. Oh no! Shabakala! <laughs> but wait! There's something wrong with my maracas! The cork seeds inside are gone! How am I supposed to dance now? Shoko! Oh no! Oh, I just one Korok seed. I can sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. Oh, no. bet. Bet, Shashaka. Shashaka. <laughs> the children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved Barakas. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks. Shoko. <laughs> But wait, <laughs> Choco. do you have Korok? Do you have a Korok seed? You do? You have you got a Korok seed from one of my of the forest children? If you give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. <laughs> Shaka! So which stash do you want more slots in? Weapon stash. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shaky Shaka! Woo! 
I love that's my favorite part of the whole thing. Of the whole game. Da na 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 <laughs> Your weapon stash has been expanded! Shaka! <laughs> I still smell Korok seats on you! Want me to expand your inventory again? Bow stash. Oh yeah! Shaky Shaka! <laughs> Yay! We got another slot for a bow. Duh, no, 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 no! What's your favorite animal in the game? The snowy fox. Should I fight like Hino? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I fight a Helinox right now? A, he a Hinox? 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 Whatever. Yeah, do it. What's the call it Helinox? I don't understand. Your bow stash has been expanded! Shaka! Oh, look at the time! I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Shaco! <gasps> Wait, is this, is? is this Grandpa d the Deku Tree? Oh. <gasps> Sorry, I have to go, but I still need Korok seeds, so bring me some Korok. Bring me some to the Korok Forest if you find any. Oh. The priceless maracas. Oh, wait, I almost left my horse in the dust. Yeah, he won't stop! Come here, Midnight. Woo, my favorite horse. Where are you going, Midnight? You're so sweet. Oh. Huh. Huh. Shalaka. Oh, God. Hey, you know, these are actually really scary. Not really. Ah! Not once you get all of the champion's abilities. They're really... Like, if you get Arbosa's Fury, they're done. <laughs> okay, you're spoiling it. For all the viewers. Well, yeah, if they're watching watch this, this, they're spoiling it for themselves. Okay, whatever. I won't spoil it anymore. You guys don't understand anything I'm saying if you haven't played this game. No midnight. Be a good horsey. Horsey! Why won't, why won't it let me see the horse? There we go. Good horse. Oh, it's George. Should I kill him? Hey, George. What you doing over there? Oh, I missed. <laughs> it was close. Yay, Kakariko. I think Kakariko is the best village in this game, besides... Yeah, I don't like Katano very much. Yeah, I think I think the other one in, by the jungle is better on the beach. What's it called? Uh, have you been there? What's it called? Um, what is it called? Called like I forgot, but it's the beach so town. Oh my gosh! The beach town is my favorite. I'm actually scared to like. What do color it is it? Is it red? Is it a red one? Is it a red one? Brown. Brown? Yeah. I, I didn't know there were brown ones. I thought yeah. like red was the weakest, blue is stronger, black. Is stronger and then white is the strongest. Oh, I think this is black, actually. Oh, that's why you're. That's, no, that's, no I, think, I thought it was closer to brown, but I think this is black, yeah. Yay. I do need some clothes. Should I get the stealth armor? Or. No, by, by the by, the stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless. So it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but it offers very little defense. Small price for the extra stealth. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna buy the Hylian clothes. Hylian, not Hylian. Hylian clothes. I already have the trousers, so I'll just get the tunic. Oh, I'll get the tunic and the hood. I have enough money for both. Yes. Should I wear clothes this playthrough at all, Caleb, or should I be naked the whole time? No, wear clothes when you need to. I don't need to. I'm too cracked at this game. I've only died four times. <laughs> 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 it's because if I, um, don't... Should I use my ancient arrow? No, use that. Save that for, like, I don't know. Something important. <laughs> Okay, we got the clothes we needed. We're not gonna wear them though. Woo! Cause look at these ch this chiseled chest. 
absolutely chiseled. Oh my gosh. If I were Link, I would be so proud <laughs> of myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh, okay. dude, this outfit is like so dope, actually, though. Got a freaking arrows, dude. No annoying! Ginger Ale. Good Air stuff. Phone. Go listen to the podcast. Ginger Ale Podcast. On Spotify, YouTube, Apple Apple Podcasts. Good. It's good. Ah, stuck it! You there! Who are you? How dare you trespass upon no, Lady Impa's no, abode? <laughs> hmm? Yeah, Is that dude. a Sheikah Slate? But that would mean you are... <gasps> No, it's not possible. Can it be? Oh. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. After I steal these apples. Oh, I love apples. <gasps> the mighty chicken of Kakariga. Oh my gosh. Dude, I already used Mipha's grace. I'm dead. Woo! Should I kill the chicken? Sh grace should I attack this chicken? The mighty lo overlord of our world. The yes. Cuckoo. The cuckoo. The overlord. He will burn. I'm gonna drop him in the fire. It looks like we're having steak for dinner, guy. I mean, not steak. That's flipping cow. We're having KFC for dinner. Yes. Dude, we're, having, I destroyed this guy. we're having fried chicken for dinner. Here we go. I'm gonna drop him in the fire. Are you ready? Oh, he just jumped away. No, I want you to burn! Okay, whatever. We'll go see Impa. Woo! Woo! You stay right. Oh, wait. Let's go feed uh, our horse real quick. Oh my gosh, dude. That was so hard. Did you know you can feed horses in this game? You can breed horses? Feed. Oh, yeah? I I didn't know that for so long. I was stupid. Oh my. That first try with with um, Mipha's Grace. Okay, what's your favorite soundtrack of the game? Like song? Yeah. Um, like, I don't know, like uh Um The end credit song, that's so good. It's like all of them mixed, plus like the main theme from the from Zelda. I think it's um, good. Oh it's Paya. Wait, should I get a game? A man? Boy? What? A game Boy? So yeah. Get a Game Boy so you can play Link to the Past. And four swords. We can play four swords together. Like seventy dollars. Yeah, I know. A man. Dude, <gasps> is uh, that what? Which one do you a, have? You just have a Game Boy or Game Boy Advance SP. SP, because you can play all Game Boy games with that. Yeah, but they cost like two hundred. They do. Mine is mine was only seventy dollars when I got it. Did you get it on Amazon. Amazon. Mhm. Mm could you be the hero my grandmother was talking to told me about? What was his name? Lin, 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 um... Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is... P -p 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 uh, my oh, name is Paya. Oh, not Papaya. She's so annoying. <sighs> Have you read her diary? Yeah. <laughs> I got it. I got it out. <gasps> Have you have you gone up to her without clothes on? Do it, do it. <laughs> no, I I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother has been waiting, has been awaiting your return ever since I was little. Pl please, please hurry inside. Wait, let's take off our clothes for the fine lady. Shall we? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna go do that right now. Hey, Paya, look at these abs. M Master Link, that that immodest outfit is quite a McGilly of a hero like you. <laughs> P please cover yourself up this instant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paya. Let's go read her diary after we talk to Impa. 
You ready, guys? We're going to meet. I'm going to do that same thing that you just did. We're going to meet the evil witch. You guys ready to meet the evil witch? Okay, let's go. She's so weird. Be quiet, be quiet. So, you're finally awake. <laughs> you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but. You remember me, don't you? <laughs> this music is so weird. I'm going up to the papaya oh. right now. What is the matter? I can't do her voice. You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, imp. Surely you must at least remember the name, Impa. Oh, I see. So you have lost your memory. <sighs> well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, could you please Master come a Link, bit closer? outfit is quite unbecoming of a hero like you. <laughs> a hundred years ago. Oh. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of, Hy of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting 100 years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. However, these words, which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you hear, if you are to hear them, oh. you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you fill your array to receive the princess's message, return to me. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. A bathroom break. Bye. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Video, people. bathroom break but whatever had to go tell my family something whatever are you still there Caleb yeah. yep okay let's find out what imp the witch has to say but first let's go read Impa's I mean Paya's diary Woo! I'm seriously reading it right now how ah, what is this yes look at Link's devious face <laughs> as he reads it let's see Ooh, his face. <laughs> this looks like Paya's diary. It seems she's only just started writing in it. Grandmother says she conspired with Princess Zelda and Auntie Pura 100 years ago. They decided to put a lone swordsman into a long sleep so as to prepare for a time that was foretold in legends. The name of that swordsman is Link. Since then, Grandmother has been waiting for him to reappear after all this time. I, too, pray that he awakens soon, for the sake of Hyrule, and for Grandmother's sake as well. Oh, she hasn't written in it about Link yet. I think we have to wait till the night passes. Oh, that's cool. Wait. Yeah, I just read it. She's very detailed. <laughs> <laughs> the words that the princess risked her life to impart to you. I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? I am. <laughs> ha! 
Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward, with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Oh, very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Let's watch this. The history of the royal family of Hyrule. Whoops. Calamity <laughs> Ganon, was trying to turn them on. A primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Yes. You still there, Caleb? Upon Ganon's inevitable One return miss. to Hyrule, <laughs> the princess the and the hero <laughs> fought alongside these four cool champions <laughs> against <laughs> this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Yeah. A hundred years ago. In preparation for the foretold arrival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. Aww. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we under underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Oh. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. <laughs> the four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast of Arudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gor Gorons. The divine beast of Almedo, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. The divine beast of Aruta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora. And the divine beast Von Nabori. <laughs> Naboris. Not Nabori. Naboris, controlled by Erbosa of the Garuda. Oh. It would be extremely ill advised to face Ganon 
without the power of the Divine Beast to help you. You must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Yay, we got the map. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hateno Village might be able to help you. Understood. Locked mementos. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Honestly, who cares about Hyrule anyways? Hey Caleb, do you know do you know why what the Divine Beasts are named after? What? Um Sages from old Zelda games. Like Naboris is named after Naboru from Ocarina of Time. Is a Gerudo, the leader of the Gerudo in Ocarina of Time. Uh Ruta is named after Rudo, Princess Rudo, also from Ocarina of Time, the leader the princess of the Zora of the Zora. The um, Meadow is named after, uh, I forgot her name, but she's from Wind Waker, I think. And then, um, what's the last one? Oh yeah, the Goron one, uh, Valrudania is named after, um, what's his name? Rudon, or not Rudon, uh, oh, I forgot, but he's from Ocarina of Time too, he's the Goron leader, yeah. Wow, did I, did I mind blow you? I never played those other games, so it doesn't rep me too much, but... Yeah, let's see if she's written anything else. This looks like Pi Pia's diary, it seems. She only just started writing in it. Let's see, let's skip past this part that we ever read. Nope, she hasn't... Wait, we should go to sleep, and then we'll look at the diary in the morning, and then we'll see. Oh wait, I've never read this, have I? I'll read I'll read this for um Journal of Various Worries Worries. Well, my wife left me today. The last thing she said to me was, What's more important? The cuckoos or me? Oh, it's that guy. I chose the cuckoos. <laughs> the bowmaster. Yeah. <laughs> A painter unfamiliar to any of us has arrived in the village. Oh, that guy, what's his name? Pa Poco or whatever? Yeah, that guy's annoying. He claims he is searching for the Great Fairy's Fountain, but that's near where the village spirit protector resides. We must make sure that that out, that the outsider doesn't learn of the location of the fountain or the two shrines of the of or or the two shrines near it. That took way too long. Oh, anonymous father of two. Oh, that have you done that quest with the father? Which one? It's a shrine quest. It's pretty sad. It's 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 a really good side quest though, shrine quest. Like his you you can find his kids in Kakariko Village, his two daughters, and like they go to the grave and they play hide and seek. They go to the grave the graveyard where their mother is buried and stuff. Yeah, that's you should do it. You should do that side quest. It's good. I forgot how to start it, but you should do it. That new guy in town looks like he really knows how to tune a bow. I hope he comes to buy and knocks an arrow for me. <laughs> it's been way too long. Lonely arrow girl. <laughs> day in, day out, I'm outside barking people into the shop. I don't mind, really. It's good money, and busying myself helps to numb the pain. But the only thing that really helps me feel better is walking among the fireflies. Unfortunately, we have now been asked to not walk around at night because it's dangerous. I don't know how I can cope with the fireflies. Struggling shop girl. There's a precious heirloom that has been passed down through my family for generations. Recently, I began to hear voices telling me that the heirloom has been an important destiny. It's going to happen soon. It makes me nervous. 
but I can feel it in my bones. Papaya. <laughs> Yay. Oh yeah, I think I remember how to start it. I think you had to, one of the guards of the like, Impa's house or whatever, he's the father or whatever, and he's like, steals the orb or something. The orb in Impa's place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you get that out? You just have to, you have to wait till like nighttime and you, you watch, um, you watch him sneak out and go and steal the orb and then you, see look, I'm watching, this is the guy right here, Dorian, I'm following him. He goes to his home and then when his daughters are asleep, he comes back and he steals the orb. Yeah. But, um, well that will do it to, for today's episode. Hopefully we'll find a divine beast next time. Um, let's take another look at uh, Link's chiseled chest. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, see you next time. Bye.